this life I cannot change And it is Deep off in the main Eminem Alrighty, as you can see from that intro, I recently thrifted some Nike Caldera Pluses. I think they were about $4, so that is not too bad. Without a further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so a few things you're going to need. First off, I have a paintbrush right here, of course. And then moving on, here is some suede dye. You can just use this to re-dye the suede gray if you need to. Mine weren't too bad, so I didn't actually use this too much, just a little bit and some white paint to get some of that purple mesh done then some black paint to touch up some of the tags and stuff like that I'm using Angela's paint of course that is the best for leather and whatnot then we have some GAC 900 this is going to work great as a fabric medium to get into that mesh that's all over the shoe alrighty so the first thing you want to do here is just grab a container you're gonna to want to take your white paint and you're going to want to shake your paint first. That's always the golden rule, just shake the paint a little bit before. And I am adding a 50-50 mixture of the GAC, so the GAC 900, and the white paint. And this is going to be our, you know, just to paint the mesh and everything that's kind of fabric. I've used water instead of GAC before, and it's, it's a little bit different. It feels a lot, like, not as smooth and stuff like that. But you can do what you have here, you know, whatever you have. But yeah, just mix it up and you're good to go. Alrighty, so you are going to notice I do have a different bottle here. I just switched some of the paint into a different bottle, you know, so I just two different bottles, not a big deal. And I am just going to hit all of that mesh with some of that GAC mixture. I'm going to hit this tongue up, uh, the toe cap, everything up, you know, just going to speed this up for you guys. And yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Alrighty, so the next step is after you've put a layer of white on, you know, the inside, the outside, whatever you're doing with the mesh, you're going to want to heat set it so you let it completely dry. So just when you wipe your finger across, no paint comes off on your finger. And then you just take your heat gun and you just go across it for about a two or three minutes each area. That's what I'm doing now. Alrighty, so you can see I have put multiple layers on here. It's looking pretty good. I'd say better than before. Now what I'm going to do is I have some more of that mixture, and I decided I was going to try to, you know, detail up that tag on the tongue. I didn't really dig any of the purple on any of the shoe, and as you can see, my big ass hair is getting in the way again. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, see, I I just tried to detail it, but later on you're eventually going to see that I just white out the whole tag and I detail up that Nike, uh, just mark there in black. Let's see how y'all be trying to front, man. Y'all be fronting, man. <laughs> Since Mo died, been a lot more lost and awake. Alrighty, so right here I am just sketching out what I'm gonna draw on the side, and you might notice there that I did paint the aglet part white, so where the shoelaces go up there on top, and then I did paint the suede, I'm starting to anyways, white. Uh, it just worked better, so again, you can just use the white paint on that plastic on the top. It might scratch off, but chances are it won't. And then suede, you know, I know you're not supposed to paint that, but I did. And then as you can see there before, I just traced those mountains on. That's what I'm doing on the side there. And I just took this black paint. It's black paint mixed with a little bit of the Angelus Duller. I know I forgot to include that, but, you know, you could just use black paint. I just didn't want it as shiny, so that was just an optional thing there. And, yeah, I am just sketching out the mountains with the black paint now. Alrighty, so 
so in this part I am deciding that I I tried the suede dye you know it wasn't really working on this purple suede I'm not really sure what the deal was it was kind of just soaking into it I think it was because the purple was too dark so I just decided I'm gonna use the GAC mixture so the white paint 50-50 GAC here 50-50 GAC 50-50 white paint here and I am just using it on this purple suede and I know a lot of people don't like that you know it can screw up the suede quality but it actually turned out okay you know it wasn't as smooth as it was before but it did it was still had that soft texture so I just decided you know I'm going to paint it it looks better this way and that's what's going on right here Okay, so in this next clip here, I decided I was going to do a little bit more uh, detail. It was looking a little plain. So I traced uh, some words on here that I thought looked cool, kind of calligraphy style. And then I just started hitting it with that 50, uh, 50 the dollar and the black paint. Or actually, it's not 50-50. It's just uh, the black paint and a little bit of dollar, whatever you got to do, you know, to make it look the right texture. Because you don't usually need too much dollar. But anyways, I am uh, detailing this up here just to, you know, Take, you just want to take your time because black paint is so hard to get out of. You would not believe how hard it is. Just take your time, go nice and slow, and you know, just kind of do the outline and then add the little details as you go. Another one, another one, another one. We the best music! The legacy continues. DJ Khaled. I talk gray. I don't keep it white and black. Only say I love you just so I can hear it back sometimes. Alrighty, so in this next clip, I am just going to use the pencil again. Just trace it out. Just take your time, trace it out. You can always erase the pencil, not a big deal. And then after I'm done tracing it out here, I'm going to start hitting it up with that uh, 50, not the 50, 50, the black paint mixture you know the duller and the black paint again just take your time it's so important to take your time on these little details that just really like elevate the shoe you're making above like what it can be and could be yes yeah, so that's what's going on right here Another form yesterday morning, still, still tiptoeing in my Jordan, still, still tiptoeing in my Jordan, still, still tiptoeing in my just cop the form yesterday morning, still, still tiptoeing in my Jordan, still. Alrighty, so we're on to pretty much the last step here. There was just that little bit of purple left on the bottom, so I just took some of that dull the paint and painted it out on the bottom. I know this isn't suggested, it'll scrape off, but. I mean, like, chances of it coming off are pretty low. I'm not going to go running through any fields or hills or anything with these. And worst case, I can just put some more paint back on the bottom there. But I haven't had any troubles with them yet. And it's been all right, you know. But it's, yeah, it's just paint over the top of this purple on the bottom here. Be careful not to, you know, kind of overlap it on the other. But if it happens, no big deal. It's all black. You can't even tell by the end of the result. Alrighty guys, so we're at the end of the video here. I am just gonna say, you know, like and subscribe. Not a big deal. If you have any comments at the bottom, you know, just comment for me. Any any you know tips or anything like that. I'm new to this and I just you know I'm learning too. Hopefully this video helped some of you maybe learn how to paint a shoe if you've never done it before. But yeah, here's what the end result was. So you're still thinking of me Just like I know you should I cannot give you everything You know I wish I could